Welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Gear. If you've been watching my Donner upgrade videos that I've been trickling out lately, you know that we're at the part in the project where we're looking at the headstock reshaping. Now, this is not really anything to do with tone. It's more aesthetic. But I figured that I'd want to change the shape after all, after playing around with the idea for a little bit. I just felt that the uh, duck bill kind of shape that comes with the guitar headstock um, out of the box was not really what I liked. So I wanted to change that. And I had a couple of options to play around with. Obviously you can go with more of a Strat classic headstock shape, but unfortunately the Donner headstock is, there's not enough meat on it or wood on it to be able to shape it that way. So I figured I would have to go with something a little bit more streamlined and I decided that I would uh, use more of a Sur style headstock for this particular build because I could remove most of the wood to get to that shape and uh, it would be easier for me to do that. Now I'm not using any kind of fancy tools right now because we are in the middle of um, isolation, quarantine as you guys know. So I'm not going out to any hardware stores to buy any kind of tools or any kind of supplies. So for this project build what I'm doing is I'm just using what I already have and I'm trying to keep costs down as well. I have a lot of extra parts and components that I've accumulated over time and a lot of them are still good and actually better than the stock components that came on the guitar to begin with. So I'm going to be using a lot of those donor parts for this build. Some of you guys have asked me, um, you know, why I'm not upgrading the electronics. Well, a couple of reasons. Number one is I don't have the parts right now that I need to do that. So eventually I would normally upgrade the pots, um, the wiring, everything, the switch. I would normally do that. But right now I don't have those parts on hand and the ones that are in the guitar work. So without delaying the project, I figured I'd just keep what's already in there and then eventually upgrade them when they fail. And that would save me the headache of having to try and source parts right now. One of you asked me why I didn't choose to go with locking tuners and that's pretty much the same reason. I didn't have locking tuners on hand uh, that would fit the guitar nicely and I decided to keep the tuners that I already had on hand which were from a Strat and are actually pretty good tuners and you know what locking tuners are a, a really good option but they're not a necessity and I'm fine with regular tuners for this particular build. Now when it comes to reshaping the headstock, uh, I decided to take off the Donner logo that was already there because I'm cutting through part of it and it looked kind of weird and I decided it's, you know, there was no finish on top of it so it's very easy to sand away. So I decided just to take it off. Having a headstock with nothing on it kind of looks weird. Um, obviously I don't want to go with a brand name logo so I'm probably going to create something myself and apply it. Now I have a choice there. I can either go with a water slide decal and I think I still have some water slide paper and if I do I'll show you how I do that. Um, or I would have to make something out of vinyl uh, and adhesive vinyl and cut whatever logo or, or decal I want to use to uh, put onto the headstock. So we have a couple of choices there. I haven't really decided which direction I want to go with that yet. So as the project evolves, we'll see how things unfold and I'll show you what I did. doing right now is we're carefully reshaping the neck so that it looks more like another type of guitar. I'm not going to name the names but I think we're all going to figure out which one it is. Uh, so we're going to make it more of a nice smooth transition instead of that duck beak thing that we had earlier. Uh, this is just the rough shaping then I'm going to uh, finish 
smooth sanding it so it's going to be nice and, uh, and smooth all the way around. And here where we have the holes that were originally drilled for the, um, for the screws that were holding the tuners, now we have the other two uh, holes that we had to drill. But these little holes we filled in previously with some super glue. But um, what I'm going to do is with all the sanding that we've done, I've recuperated all this dust from the maple. So I'm going to use this dust to match the holes and I'm going to basically uh, just drill out what we did before. Drop fill with uh, the maple, some super glue and then we're going to be good to go. We're going to be able to like sand this flush, you won't even be able to feel it and it's going to be a better match for the color. As far as the logo on the front goes, we can either leave the Donner logo there, I could just sand off this little thing or we can take it off completely and replace it with something else, we'll see. What, uh, what the consensus is when we get to that portion. All right, so what you're seeing here now is um, kind of the uh, intermittent results of a lot of sanding. I basically at this point contoured the headstock the way I wanted it to be. So I don't know if you could, um, if you appreciate this shape as opposed to the original one, the curves are a lot more elegant than the duck bill that we had earlier. So I basically uh, showed you how I did this on my uh, press drill with a little drum sander uh, bit, nothing too fancy, uh, a lot of sanding and then finishing it off by hand. What I'm doing is I'm paying attention to the edges here. I'm actually giving the edges a little bit more of a contour because I find that um, it looks a little bit more high class than really sharp edges. Uh, also, what I did is um, I took a little bit more time in this area here and I basically rounded this off a bit more so that it feels a lot nicer when your hand is in this area. Because originally it wasn't really rounded off very nicely. It was like uh, very abrupt. The curves were all very abrupt. So I'm taking the time to actually just make everything feel a lot smoother, a lot more natural. And uh, also the edges in here, all these edges, um, I'm just giving them a little bit of a contour. The top edges up here as well, a little bit of a contour, rounding off where the, the drum sander might have been a little bit rough just to make sure everything's squared off and there's no bumps or ridges and everything feels natural and the curves feel nice and smooth. You can actually feel the difference more than you can see the difference. So the best is to use your fingers when you're doing sanding like this and you can really, if you, you might be able to feel a bump and not see it like, you know, in here I can feel like there's a little bit of a bump still but I can't really see it with my eyes. So go by feel more than vision when you're doing this kind of stuff and uh, once you have it the way you want it then it's good. Now what I decided to do, you can tell that the the logo is gone. Uh, I decided to take it off. I figured uh, since this is a parts caster, kind of a, a Frankenstrat, maybe I'll put in um, something else here, make it my own, make it uh, unique to my son. Uh, I haven't decided what we're gonna put there yet, but um, eventually I'll put something there. Maybe I'll make a water slide decal, or maybe I'll just take a Sharpie and sign it and lacquer it over, something like that. I'm not really sure yet. So I'm gonna just uh, gently drill these out again, fill them up with maple dust, and I'm going to be using clear super glue and hopefully that'll blend in nicer than this than this did originally. Uh, if it works out nicer it'll probably be a little bit more subtle and less visible. So uh, I'm going to continue with the sanding and as you can see uh, I'm not using a big piece of sandpaper I'm just going very slowly with a small piece of uh, I believe this is probably, um, I don't know, 400 grit, something like that. And, um, and as I work my way up the grits, it'll smooth out the neck a lot. And I'm, I have a feeling I'm, I'm probably going to try and keep the neck, neck a natural 
finish because it, it actually feels nicer. But if I decide to do that, then I'll, I'll do the whole neck so that um, basically it'll be a, a satiny finish. And I think that'll feel much nicer in, in your hand than, um, than a gloss finish. At the end of it, I think I'm gonna like it a lot. It might be too nice to give my, to my son after all of this work. I hope he appreciates it. That's the cool thing about doing projects like this. You can give it your own personal touch and at the end of it all, I think it's worthwhile. Then you, you actually bond with the instrument a lot more, you know? So we'll see how it all turns out at the end of it. So here is a look at the final results of the reshaping of the headstock and I kind of like it. I think it looks really nice. I kind of took the shape from my existing Sir guitar so I think I got pretty close. Of course I was eyeballing it and freehanding it so it's not going to be 100% but I didn't really mean it to be a 100% uh, replica of it but I think it turned out quite nice and I do like the shape. I think it's a lot more elegant. Uh, I took the opportunity to also reshape the back of the neck here because that's one of the things that I really like about the Sir headstock that I have. It has a really nice rounded over feel. There's no abrupt edges or anything like that. And I figured I was already doing the work so I might as well take some extra time and pay attention to the curves and make it feel really nice. And I think I did a pretty good job. Now the rest of the neck here, I haven't really touched yet, but it's definitely gonna get a sanding. I'm gonna try and take off some of the finish, get it down to bare wood. And at that point, um, I was thinking about doing what Music Man does and uh, just go with a wax finish. Um, but that all depends on what I'm gonna be doing with the headstock. Because if I go with a water slide decal, I'll probably have to coat it with something to protect it from deteriorating over time. If I go with a vinyl decal, I could just apply it over the wood and I won't have to do that. So depending on what decal I'm gonna be using, that's gonna determine what kind of finish uh, I'm gonna go with. If it's a water slide and I have to apply some kind of finish to the neck, then I'm gonna have to do that to the, the entire neck. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see which way we go with that. As far as the little the little back side here where we have the old holes that were being used for the screws. So I actually re-drilled those holes because initially I had used some wood glue and the wood glue was a little bit yellow and I felt it was a little bit too dark. So I figured I'd do it again. This time avoid the wood glue, just use the dust from the maple and drop fill it with uh, a little bit of CA glue. And to my surprise, it's a little bit lighter, but you can still see them. So we're gonna live with that. But in terms of feeling anything, you really can't feel it. It's really flush. I ba basically flush scraped it with uh, a razor blade and then I sanded it down. And then when I do the final neck sanding, I'll remove the tuners once again, re-sand everything properly, and then finish it the way it's supposed to be. So we're not actually done with the neck yet and that's why I still haven't removed the tape and uh, you know I'm gonna leave it on for the time being. So that's the latest update in this project. Next we'll probably be doing some electronic work. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the pickup um, configuration. We're gonna be removing some of the pickups we're gonna be adding some pickups and we're gonna be doing some wiring and soldering as well. So if you're an electronic geek and you like to watch that kind of stuff, stay tuned for that video because it's gonna be coming up really soon. So hopefully this project's gonna to come to an end really soon and I'll be able to show you guys and let you hear the final results. So that's it for now guys. Please stay tuned, keep watching because there's gonna be more great videos coming your way. See you soon.